2K. 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 Your game is shite. I didn't play the game, but I see a lot of stuff on Twitter, a lot of stuff on Facebook, just a lot of stuff on a lot of platforms. And my God, this whole podcast is now going to be about 2K. Like this whole segment, just me giving my little opinions, you know, that stuff. But damn, 2K, you really butchered the crap out of this game. You butchered the game. You killed it. And I literally, when I was on Discord, right? This was funny. Basically, what happened, right? It was in this gym. It's not torture if you're paying for it. And that was the troll. And that's literally a statement by 2K inside the game saying that... Fuck you. We took your money. Now play this buggy ass game. Because at the end of the day, you're still going to buy the game. God damn, 2K was fucked up that game, bro. What's good, everybody? Mal here. And um, I'm here with the POV podcast. You know, a eFed podcast. Talk about eFeds. How to, you know, I'm not gonna tell you tell you how to how to do your eFeds all that stuff. But it's just a podcast about eFeds and all that stuff. It's a wrestling video game podcast, and at the same time, it's about wrestling. So, if you enjoyed this podcast, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I don't know why I'm plugging my stuff in early on in the video. I should do it later on in the video if you like the video or not. This is a video podcast, and and if I be on Anchor, I might just start start on on episode one on Anchor soon. If you want me to be on Anchor, I'll be on Anchor. Depends on how I feel, or I might start over on on Anchor to do a start over the whole point of view podcast and be just about all efeds, and that that includes me reviewing board board efeds, me 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 reviewing. Wrestling amino efeds or leagues, whatever whatever you want to call it, call leagues, fire pro leagues, wrestling video game history games like the old efeds or stuff, and how would I book? Probably I might do a how would I book? I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Okay, don't judge me. I might do a lot with this podcast just to make time and all that stuff and not to be, maybe be like 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know how to feel about that because I want to do some other stuff. And plus, I might do this podcast on any random day. I might do another episode tomorrow depending on depending on how I feel. If, if this if this episode gets good rating, good stuff, good comments or criticisms or stuff, that fuels me and make me want to do more. Anyways, today's episode is going to be probably a little bit shorter because I really got no other topics to talk about. So, uh, so this so episode is going to be more of like a um, what is there to come? So we're going to talk about three three of my feds. Well, two or. Two official feds and one just for the hell of it. And then we're going to talk about promotional war, upcoming events, and, and some of my thoughts that I've been going around. Well, so, so some of my thoughts that I've been thinking about for like the past few fucking um, weeks and days and shit. So let's start. So let's start with N- NAW. NAW is going well. This week is the go home week to Factors of Fear, the first free extended event. I'm taking that from from NEW free extended event because because we just started. Why would we start with the pay per view? We, we're not that big yet, so 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 most of our events gonna be free extended events, five matches most likely, and all that stuff. So yeah. 
and I, and let me tell you the reason why I'm doing five matches for these big events. We don't gotta build, f- build, build for storylines that that requires to have a match. So far, there's only two matches that has beefs. Kano versus that trainee. And Samantha versus that Irish girl. Jane Barrett. That's her name is. Jane Barrett. So that's our first two beefs. That's probably going to, you know, die down after this event. And all that stuff. So, yeah. So, the Fact of the Fear card is going to be like this. If I could pull it up. If I got my notes. I could scroll up the Fact of the Fear. It's going to be a Battle Royal. And this Battle Royal, I think I probably spoiled it. But this Battle Royal is basically a Battle Royal for... A number for not a number one contender shot, but for a automatic championship match. You 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 can only just joint once. So this is an automatic championship match for any title you want. You probably like you only got two fucking titles, boy. We've rumored to have a tag team championships soon. But but I haven't decided yet. Management hasn't 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 decided to have tag team titles or a rumored because some people want to start rumors now. A um, when can I do it? A um, secondary championship that that we might even that we might even like you know bring up. So yeah. Once we um get everything else t- together and settle down, we're gonna we're gonna like, you know, get championships, get more people, and you know maybe just fuck around. So, th- so the so 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 the next few matches are rival matches like beefs. That need to be squashed or settled down. The first one is going to be Jane Barrett versus Samantha. And then Kano versus that trainee. That CR5 Pro trainee. God damn me. Who the hell was that? <laughs> I know who it is. But I'm not going to spoil it. For those who watch CR5 Pro or for those who even watch the watch the dojos if there well even though there's no footage of the dojos but who comes at the dojos and you know watch the trainees perform or who those who are stalkers you probably know who this trainee is but I'm gonna let Kano because Kano I told Kano who who was the trainee and Kano want his head and then we're going to have championship matches between the first championship match is the NAW Women's Championship match, the inaugural championship match, which is going to be Kaiva Prince versus Val Jester. So that match is going to be fun. And then we're going to have the, the NAW Championship match, inaugural NAW Championship match, which is going to be Brandon Sharp versus Quincy. Both championship matches was had had tournaments to crown the 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 champion so so the finals of the tournaments slash championship match was going it's going to happen this Sunday surprise it's happening Sunday for those who live under a rock how I do this show is simple because I want to do stuff instead of just wait on that day, record a show, edit, whatever. Because I'm not like that. I want to do things ahead of time. So, I, because I want to do a lot of, because I want to 
basically do more editing, do more like storytelling and all that other stuff. So it's not a secret. It's really, it's really, it's fairly not a secret. If you think about it, I tape my shows, okay? I tape my shows. Some shows I do not tape. Some shows I do. This is the only show I taped. The, the other shows I record, do my stuff on the show, edit, and then publish it the same day. That's how I do my shows. I'm starting with A and W first because it's more episodic than PSPW and Coliseum. Coliseum, we're gonna get to that later, but but for NAW, this one's more episodic, more binge watcher, binge watching show, and it's a short show. Like my show, like like NAW is very short. If you want to do real time, it's like an hour of wrestling. If you want to do it, I mean, if you want to do it like, if it's a real life promotion, it's gonna be it's gonna be like one hour long, because all the times, that fire pro time, if you made that to a real life time, it's gonna be an hour. Like like the show will probably probably be like hour or an hour and thirty minutes. Versus the, versus right now, it's like thirty minutes. You have a 30-minute wrestling show that basically goes around all storylines and basically number of contender matches and tournaments. And then you have a five-match card pay-per-view or or free big event that's basically like two hours. But in real life time, it's just an hour or 45 minutes. I'm saying... I'm I'm giving you some little insider stuff about my show because I want y'all to know how I think and how I do things. So like you will like I'm not gonna tell you no spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you no spoilers in this podcast. It's like Jim Cornette. It's basically like if I do spoilers, it's gonna be just basically like Jim Cornette spoiled the whole season of power. In a in WA power. He doesn't do that. He gives you his review, and then he tells you everything. He he literally works for the company. Why would he spoil that show for you? He wants you to, to basically keep watching and watching and watching and shit, you know? Something like that. So, so NAW is going to have two other events, free extended events, FEE. One of them, in November, is going to be in three weeks. Counting this week, then then three other weeks. So basically four weeks, basically. If you count this week, too. That build for that, for that event is going to be something. And that event is going to be called Salvation. And then... The, then, then the then the December event is going to be called Homecoming. Hold up, Homecoming is going to be our December event, and it's going to be our big event. We want so so basically we have three FEEs, free extended events. Those three is going to determine if this company lives or dies. So far, I'm enjoying this company. I'm enjoying this my my, my time as as running this promotion, and the reviews of the show has been pretty good. We got some criticism here, criticism there, but they're fair, and they help us build the show. So. I want to thank everybody who watches the show. I want to thank everybody who enjoys this Turbo, NAW Turbo, and 
And I want to thank everybody who gives a thumbs up and comments and subscribes. Thank you. So, next topic is PSPW. PSPW, if you saw the show, PSPW is a random ass show that came out of nowhere, no build, no nothing. The reason why for that show to happen is because I wanted to test commentary out, my commentary, and I wanted to like see if y'all would like this show. It been on my mind for a while. It's not going to be weekly. It's probably going to be monthly or random times. It's going to be like a New Japan random ass show that came out the cut. Some build to it, some whatever. But at the end of the day, PSPW is going to be like our Chikara. It's not going to be as serious as it, as NAW, but it's going to be it's going to be tolerable. You got some wacky ass characters, and then you got some real good wrestlers. I said characters and wrestlers because characters is different from a wrestler. A character is like Goblin Bad Badladu or Shipu or Dalmatian. You haven't seen the them two dogs yet. Or play. Play's a character, but he's a good wrestler. And then you got the wrestlers like Kano, Lady Mystique, Marcella, and Ray Leo. Even though he's he, even though he's crossed between character and a wrestler because he wrestles like a motherfucking beast. But PSPW is is going to be a tolerable. If you're a fan of pro wrestling and you think this is just so gimmicky. You're kind of right, but you're kind of missing the point. PSPW is, is, is going to be like a developmental territory. Not a full-fledged developmental territory, but it's going to build a character, it's going to build a wrestler up to have their own gimmick to test things out and for me to test what, what I could do with this game. Because I could do promos in this game, but, but this joint is for me to test out what I could do for my other promotion, NAW, and what I could do for whatever, just to have two separate types of style. If you know Chikara, Chikara is like a real-life promotion that's basically American Lucha Libre and all that stuff, but at the same time, they have a, they're very gimmicky. They're very corny sometimes, but they do got good wrestling. Cause me, cause me, and my ten year old little sister, we watch like we literally watch some Chikara matches. They may be family friendly, but they make wrestlers grow. Like they grow wrestlers. So I want this company. PSPW to to like grow wrestlers, like make them to be top talent for other promotions. They don't have to have the same gimmick as they got from this promotion, but they could have a different gimmick. But they under but they could be good wrestlers. We might have championships in PSPW. Some championships are. I want to put in is the um the the um mega championship the ultra mega championship sounds corny as hell but that's basically our world championship even though we might not defend it in all over the world but same time I want to <laughs> so eh um. What else? The Pure Spirit Championship. And then I want to have a Trios Championship for the best factions. So yeah, that's PSPW. Pure Spirit Pro Wrestling. A promotion that is 
gimmicky but tolerable. And you might hear my commentary on it. Hey, Cedric, if you're listening, <laughs> I got you hooked in a show. Even though you, some of the wrestlers, you know, fucks up, you know. They drain each other out and just do some dumb shit. Coliseum. Coliseum is an MMA promotion that I run that's going to be monthly. Because if because I want to be realistic here. You got to let the res- you got to let the fighters rest and train. They won't fight every month, but they will fight like Six times a year or something like that. Six times a year. If they do two times a year, we're going to make them rest. And then all fights are just like about records. And if you got a good record, you get to go for a championship. If you're on a hot streak, going for a championship. So yeah, that's how Coliseum works. Coliseum is supposed to be a promotion that... It's supposed to be a promotion that basically um, showcase all the good fighters. Not wrestlers, but fighters. So, like, when it comes down to fighting, you got to fight for your life. You got to fight. This is a sport, but this is also f- fighting for your life. Because you can die in this ring. Or in this cage. If you're not protecting yourself. Like, yeah. So, Coliseum's going to have championships. The King's Championship, the King of the Coliseum Championship, and the Queen of the Coliseum Championship. they basically like world titles for the men's and the women. Because it's a fighting, because this is a fight. So, why would you have a woman fight a man? We gotta be respectful here. We don't condole beating on a woman in Coliseum. It's not wrestling. It's not pro wrestling. It's way different. So I just want to take a little break here from my little, you know, talks. And I just want to, you know, look at the advertisements. You probably was like, you probably like, but where's the wrestling? Where's the where's the fire pro? I to be honest, I don't feel like simming some matches for this podcast right now. But but like um, the reason why I'm I'm not sending no matches for this podcast right now, well, for this episode, is because I just don't want to. I mean, you could. I mean, sometimes you just gotta do what you want, and I don't want people to like tone out, think of like look at the matches, and just be like. Whoa, that match is awesome. And what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> yeah, I just want y'all to like hear my voice and just listen to me and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, check out these, you know, cool-ass people like Mr. Pony, Pony Sports TV. Get the official CR5. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know why I got the advertisement. Check out Coliseum. Might be tomorrow. I might do Coliseum tomorrow or Friday. Check out the eFed Hub Discord. I should get that link to, you know, support the eFed Hub. Check out Wrestling Video Games Universe Amino. Good, cool ass people there. Their Discord and their Amino. NAW, Nonstop Action Wrestling, which is going to be rebranded after Factors of Fear. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a separate announcement. A separate announcement. CR banking, aspirations. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's coming even exists anymore. But and then you got CWF, one of the, one of the top Fire Pro promotions in the whole entire Fire Pro community. In my opinion, one of the best is CR Fire Pro, due to their understanding of professional wrestling. These Edgen haven't seen his stuff, but I know it's good. In pro wrestling, we are slash figure four leg lock. They got their big event coming soon. Wrestling Russell my Magista. I don't know. But it's the third big event. So I'm gonna check it out. Hard Knocks Television. Good stuff. HTW. Also good stuff. Counting as one of the top promotions. Limit Break Wrestling. Sorry, I'm trying to read everything. Limit Break Wrestling. Green Cat Girl. I don't know why there's weed. And, <laughs> and yeah. Uh, let me get my let me get a drink of water before I, I continue this. Swig of water and get my breath. All right, now we get into now we dive into some e fed territory. I speak of promotional war. Promotional war is kind of cool. Because you get to see the best out of two promotions, and I think say and I think say WF took took a shot at me <laughs> because they put one of their shows on Thursday, and I, I was like, "Motherfucker, I'm on Thursday. That's my day." <laughs> but whatever, we we might lose this war, but if we win this war, then we win this war. I don't care. But fight is moving to Wednesday. See, see the fight is moving to Wednesday, which means I want to take a shot at. Which means I want to take a shot at them. I could easily put Coliseum on Wednesday, but Coliseum doesn't do weekly shows like that. They do matches or three matches, and then that's it. But at the end of the day, it's like, what the fuck is the point of putting a show on Wednesday? An e show, not like a wrestling show, a wrestling show, but an e show on Wednesday when you spark a war, but you ain't sparking no war because you're, you're some shit. You're not going to put your best out there after a few weeks. I'm talking about me, Mal. I'm talking about you, Mal. Wait. I'm out. What the fuck? <laughs> but anyways, promotional war is cool. I love a little bit of war. I, I do not condone country versus country war because that shit will kill millions of innocent lives due to our stupidity thanks to this fucking president we got right here. Can we take a moment for me to talk shit about this president? This motherfucker want to nuke a hurricane. God damn it, you big dumb bitch. Why the fuck would you do that shit? <sighs> I know I might get some heat on some Trump supporters, but who gives a fuck about that shit? This president is absolutely fucking dumb. Anyways, back to the EFET news. Promotional war. I would love to, to. I would love to be. I'll be honest with you. I'm. I. I do want to be in a promotional war, so so I could do my best. But at the same time, I need to retract from that because if I do that, then I might get burnt out, and I will leave out one of my best promotions out there, and then they, then that promotion gonna suffer. But, I, and plus, I won't even have fun no more. It'll be fun for a few weeks or a few days because I because I tape my because I tape my shows. But it's not gonna be fun no more afterwards. Now that's my honesty. 
I do want to be in a promotional war. With, I'm going to be honest with you. One promotion I want to do war with, with a few, is CWF, XVPW, and maybe a promotion in the E-Fed hub or wrestling video games, Amina, like NEW, New Extreme Wrestling, or some other random promotion that would love to do war against, like enough for ratings that I might lose or win with a show. But, yeah, that's just my dream warfare. My dream match I want to do is Wolf King from 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 XVPW versus Kano. But here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? I did a promotional war against CR Fire Pro on a different day. That little war or invasion, quote unquote invasion, didn't really happen like that. It just talked shit. And then it came out that we're evenly matched by a little mini event, zero hour. You could check it out. And then it just stopped. Nobody gained anything from it. I learn from that now. If you're going to do an invasion or war, you gotta have an outcome. You got to have an outcome. You gotta have. You gotta be like. How to explain this? If Cedric was here, he would explain this way better. <laughs> but this is me right now. But, like, um, you got to have an outcome, a best possible outcome. You can't have no plans afterwards. And at the end of the day, it has to boost both promotions. Like, oh, what's going to do with this promotion? How, 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 bleh, how is he going to counter this promotion? How that promotion you're gonna counter that promotion? I'm just and it has to be like engaging. So once you engage in like a promotional war, you got to have an outcome. If you want to do an invasion with that inside a promotional war and it's gonna boost ratings, you gotta have a possible outcome for that joint. If y'all get what I'm saying, please type in the comments because I need because I want to interact with y'all, and I want y'all to give me your, your opinions on promotional war. Because promotional war, you know, because I wanted to I wanted to do one, but I don't really got the ratings for it. I don't really got the views for it. And if I wanted to do it with serious with say WF Unlimited, them bitch asses want to do it fucking on my day. I'll let them. Do all, do it on my day, but they can't do my time. Three o'clock p.m. EST. So we need to have some wrestling to breathe. Now at the same time, my time. And if I do a war against them, I'm going to lose like a motherfucker. <laughs> they got the ratings. They got the views. They got the clout, they got the energy and they got the production and they got the fans who the fuck is Mal in Zero Wrestling Zero Wrestling is my um product it's where all my feds come here just to live and maybe die but mostly to live because their legacy lives on forever especially the cause their legacy live on forever so, we're going to talk about some, like, upcoming events. Some upcoming events. I want to... I'm so stoked. I thought about it for, like, a couple weeks now. Remember Pride? Remember that, that Pride event that got so much fucking, like, love for and all that stuff? Yeah, I'm going to do another one on Pride Month. Yay! I am... 
God, who's who trying to break inside of a car, bro? Get the fuck, bro. But like, I'm gonna do another pride event. I'm gonna do, but this pride event is gonna be not just hosted by Zero Wrestling. It's gonna be a official event of NAW. Like, it's gonna be like one of them. It's it's not gonna be a house show. It's just, it's not gonna be a glorified house show. It's gonna be an event for love, supports, and all that stuff, and being yourself for pride. Party event is going to it's going to have a main event for the NAW Championship or PSPW Ultra Mega Championship, depending on how I feel. And Pride will be featuring a lot of like great edits, but I'm not going to record that show this year. Once I do my tapings and everything goes well for this year, then I might tape. Next year on December. Tapings happens the month before. Or two months before, just so just, just so that I can rest my 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 lovely soul. <clears throat> but yeah, that's one of the upcoming events, Pride. I can't wait to do some shows for, for Pride and I can't wait for Pride Month. Because one thing for sure, during Pride Month, I'm going to be at the um, Pride Parade, probably, most likely, with my sleazy jacket that has a rainbow on it. Once I get that motherfucking jacket, I need that jacket. I want that jacket. (laughs) But, like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. So, another upcoming event. I already mentioned Factors of Fear is this Sunday. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at 3 p.m. EST. So, be ready for that show. That show is going to be lit. Or horrifying. (laughs) Because it's spoopy. And then we got a show next week for October on Halloween at 3 p.m., which is going to be a um, Turbo Day. So it's going to be a Turbo show. And I might do a double upload for that day. Make a PSP PW event. Happy Halloween. I might do that. I don't know. Some other upcoming events, November, Thanksgiving, I am planning on doing a Thanksbeating event. So, I already did a Thanksbeating event for Ken Inch, my old Fire Pro promotion. I might bring that event back up, because it's under the Zero Wrestling brand now. I bought out Ken Inch and their rights to use some names for the um from the events to carry over to this event. <clears throat> I'm planning to do a thanks beating thanks beating event with a Black Friday show to celebrate Black Friday and the sales and all that shit. And most likely I'm gonna promote Fire Pro Wrestling on the Black Friday show. Give a link to the Fire Pro Wrestling um joint. The the game wants to be on sale. And all the DLCs and all that shit. And you know, I want you guys to have fun with this game. <clears throat> okay, I'm about to go check my YouTube. Go to my creators joint. Because I want to see what did I call my Christmas event. If y'all guys don't know about my channel, I did Kenage as a holiday sh- stuff, so all my events, you know, was holiday events. I might do that again. Let's go to videos. What? Okay, there we go. Um, 
the Christmas special is going to come back. Dang. I did so much for this show. Okay, here okay, so here's what I'm about to do, all right? Okay. I think I know what I'm about to do. What I'm about to do is this, all right? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have a um tour going on. I'm gonna bring back the. I, I, I'm gonna bring back some things. All right. I'm gonna bring back Thanks beating for for um Thanksgiving. Like the week of Thanksgiving. But during that, it's gonna be a autumn tour. And the autumn tour is gonna be a. Uh, not a not an end day W stuff. It's more of a zero promotional stuff. And the autumn tour is basically the gateway to autumn. Like throughout the whole autumn, it's, it's gonna be taped because if you want to speak in real life, we want the motherfuckers. <laughs> we want them to. If you want to speak in real life, like, think about all that shit. You want the families of the wrestlers to be there for their families. Well, we want the wrestlers to be there with their families and all that stuff throughout the whole autumn because it's because Thanksgiving and all that stuff. So the autumn tour is going to be throughout throughout November, all right? And it's going to lead up to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is going to be the end goal. And it's going to be a PSPW event, probably. Or a special. And then, after that, we're going to have the Black Friday house show. The following after Thanksgiving on Thursday. Which going to be, okay, Thanksgiving is going to be posted on Thursday. And the Black Friday special is going to be, it's going to be posted on Friday. So, we got two days of professional wrestling. Back to back on this channel. And then Christmas, we're gonna have the Christmas special or the Christmas glory. And and, and that's gonna be an event on the Zero Channel. And and it's gonna be a glory house show afterwards. For all the matches that didn't make the cut. And all that's gonna be taped too. So I want y'all to get ready for some exciting zero wrestling months because this year in 2020 is going to be a powerful year for me for this wrestling for wrestling and for my channel you're going to see some stuff you won't be able to see on this program and if you want 2k stuff you need i'm going to get 2k the moment this game is patched Because I'm fucking sick and tired of looking on Twitter and seeing 2K looking like pieces of garbage. The only reason I might get 2K, I'm going to be honest with you. The only reason, it's not, it's, it's not because I want to be cool. It's because I want to join these effects that I'm interested in on the PS4. That's the reason why I'm getting 2K. Oh, dang, damn, I farted. <laughs> that, that, that felt good afterwards. But, yeah, so... Let me put on my notes. Notepad, open up. So, there's going to be an autumn tour leading to Thanks Beating. Leading to... The Black Friday house show. And then December is going to be the Xmas Glory show. 
leading to the house show. And then there's going to be New Year's Retribution. And New Year's Retribution is a New Year's show. Maybe after it's it's not gonna be on New Year's, okay? It's not gonna be on New Year's. It's gonna be on that Saturday. Whenever the whenever the hell, whatever Saturday is gonna be on, it's like it's gonna be on that Saturday. All right. So the New Year's, New Year's retribution. And that show is going to be a NAW show. If Homecoming gets a good, good amount of love and support. I'm not going to say I want this many views or this many likes just for the um for this show to be an existing. What I'm saying is that if y'all support me a lot throughout this whole year, I'm going to make sure... NAW is going to be better, bigger, and powerful. And New Year's Retribution is going to be the Kickstarter for 2020. NAW 2020 is going to be, it's going to be Retribution. Is there a wrestling? We're going to go past... The long one, of my longest efeds, IWR. We're gonna pass them. We're gonna go past them. Kenish didn't make it. Dragon didn't make it. Joshi Sports didn't make it. WWO didn't make it. And IWR same had the same fate for Fire Pro feds that I ran. This one, I feel confident with. And it's going to start with y'all. I want y'all to, to, to like support me. All I want is support. I'm not asking for too much, alright? I'm not asking for give me likes, give me like views. I just want support. I don't care how you support this damn channel. I just want y'all to, like, be there for me. Show me that y'all want to, like, I want y'all to show me that y'all at least here. I feel a little emotional right now, but let me stop. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my final thoughts. I basically tackled all the stuff I wanted to like tackle in 48 minutes. That's pretty good for me. So this was this was Point of View Podcast with me, Mal, and um I gave y'all a little schedule. Maybe after Factors of Fear, I might release the um the the autumn tours um schedule to things beating and black friday special so yeah and i hope i and and i hope y'all guys you know be there for the autumn tour and for the thanks beating show and the black friday house show then the christmas glory then the new Year's retribution show because i want cuz i want to start and I want, and here's the thing, right? This might extend it a, a little bit more, but I don't want just my edits to be in this show. I want y'all edits to be in this show. We have Critical Club. Critical Club, they just Critical Club. They are just Critical Club. I want to be bigger, better than Critical Club. They some cool people. 
But do they really pay attention to my show? I'm not going to bitch and moan about them not sh- giving me support. They support me through the Grizzly Tournament. I fucks with them on that. But I want to start a <clears throat> a trend. I want to start a trend. Everybody who has a fed, everybody who listens to this podcast all the way through today, I mean, not today, all the way through right now, if you have a fed, let me shout you out. Let me showcase your talent. I'll put your show in the link. I put your talent in the credits. I put you in the credits for supporting. I want y'all. I don't care if y'all post me. I want I want to showcase the underground. We all underground right now. But now if we get more people to come to this community and just be all out. Be themselves. Be this. Be that. Just be them. Without people critic without people being a dick and not giving y'all the views, not giving y'all the likes, the criticism, and the make a discussion. Y'all just sit there and just whatever. Wondering why you trying to get no views. Let me help you. Let me in. <laughs> but in all seriousness though, I just want to help you out. I want to be a good friend. I want to thank everybody whoever supports me in this podcast, supports me in this fed, support me in the e world and let me have a chance. Thank you for everything you did for me. This was Mal from Point of View. Ciao.